small church project in the basement. These days, the Sheldon Heights Food Pantry in Roseland has been forced to grow with the times. In our Hunger Action Month feature this week, Julie Unruh takes us inside. Baba Steakhouse and Lemonade. This old sign on the far south side hardly tells the story of what's inside. The Sheldon Heights Food Pantry has grown so much in recent years, it took over Baba's space after it shut down. You need me to just carry it? Yeah, I'll just carry it. Eric Clark runs it and is as hands-on with clients as it gets. And if you know of somebody else that could use some food, let them know we're here, okay? He shares a story about a man who came to this pantry two weeks in a row and was sent away each time when inventory was low. Clark vowed never to let it happen again. And from that point on, I've just put it in my mind and in my heart that I never want to have to tell somebody to come back um, because we just don't have something to give them. Since then, the Sheldon Heights Food Pantry's kept its promise. It's open two days a week and clients are invited to come once a month. Grant money from the Greater Chicago Food Depository will help pay for a big new sign outside very soon, making it easier to find. And that money has already helped buy a giant new walk-in freezer, replacing some 17 small ones that were racking up big energy bills. We were able to reduce our electric bill by a couple thousand dollars. Seven thousand dollars to be exact. This food pantry's partnered with 11 grocery stores and clients get to choose what they take home, from fresh meat to macaroni. They can pick and choose what their family um, can eat. And most likely, I'm very hopeful that that saves um, a lot of food from going to waste. Another client Clark won't forget, a man shopping for milk and protein this past spring. He had a wife and five children. And he stopped. He just looked up at the ceiling and started crying. He proceeded to tell us how him and his wife had just sold all of their jewelry at the pawn shop around the corner to buy food. These were tears of gratitude. You know, anytime a grown man will stop and cry, um, that really means that we were able to really help him and his family out. Ready? Just another example of the growing need during the pandemic. Clark is also seeing the rate of new versus returning clients soar. He's thrilled to be a part of the solution. He and the team of volunteers who make it all happen for anyone who's hungry. If there is a need, um, there's never a reason in the city of Chicago to go without food. All right. You're welcome, you guys. We'll see you next month. Now, a reminder here, the Sheldon Heights Food Pantry in Roseland is serving all of Cook County, not just Chicago. It almost feels like a mini grocery store inside and couldn't happen without the help of the Sheldon Heights Church of Christ next door. For more information on Hunger Action Month, just head to our website, wgntv.com slash feedingamerica. Julie Unruh, 